I'm John Boykin from the Gilson Engineering Toledo office. Today we're going to take a look at the FCI ST100 series of gas flow meters. The ST100 flow meters operate on the principle of thermal dispersion. The circuitry measures the temperature difference between the heated and non-heated sensors. The greater the mass flow rate, the less temperature difference between the two sensors. In many flow applications, the user is periodically required to verify calibration. This can be expensive if the flow meter needs to be sent back to the factory. The ST110 can have its calibration verified without it being sent back to the factory or even being removed from the pipe. The ST100 flow meters offer the following advantages over other gas flow technologies. Extremely high turndown ratios up to 1,000 to 1. Most other technologies are lucky to get turndowns of 10 to 1. Three 4 to 20 milliamp outputs for flow, temperature, or optional pressure. Digital communication options of Foundation Field Bus, Profibus, Hart, or Modbus. Data logging via removable SD card. ST110 series can have calibration verified on site without removing sensor from the pipe. There are several versions of the ST100 series flow meter. The ST100 is an insertion style flow sensor. The ST100L is an inline flow meter for line sizes from 1 inch to 2 inch. The ST110 series includes the Verical option. And the STP100 series includes an integral pressure sensor. These three pieces make up a complete installation of an ST110 with Verical system. The Verical kit includes a digital pressure gauge and flow regulator. The ST110 flow meter includes a Verical or normal operation valve, sonic nozzle, one-way inlet valve, and retractable flow element with Verical fitting. Now let's see how the Verical works. Before we start a verification, we will need a high pressure nitrogen source and the calibration documents provided by FCI with the flow meter. First, we'll hook the nitrogen source to the Verical box. We'll want to note the insertion depth of the sensor before we back it out. Next, loosen the packing gland and back out the sensor. Open the check valve. The nitrogen is now flowing across the sensor. FCI provides data at several pressure points. We'll check calibration at two points in this demonstration. Referencing the calibration documentation, we note that a pressure of 25 PSI should yield a flow reading of 8.2 feet per second. First, dial in a pressure of 25 PSI on the regulator. Once the flow reading stabilizes, compare it to the calibration documents. Now adjust the pressure to 50 PSI and repeat the process. We have now verified the sensor, electronics, and interconnections are functioning properly. If you need further information on the FCI flow meters, including manuals, 
data sheets, or drawings, visit our website at www.gilsoneng.com or call us at 800-860-4499.